All right, uh, I'm out here at this uh, at the new house. I'm gonna head across the road to metal detect on a property I got, and I seen uh, them hens fly over right there. It's flying up, and right there's two gobblers. I guess they're probably. I don't know. You can't see their beard from here, but they're probably ah uh, look like ten or eleven inches long. So. Go around the side of the house. Too bad season's closed. But yeah, I'm headed off in the woods there. I got permission to hunt that in that field way over there. So anyway, hopefully I'll be back with something. <clears throat> Alright, uh, I finally made it out this field. Of course, the house is right down there on the other side of the wood line right there. And I have found a uh, axe head and got this in the hole. It's a uh, some kind of button I don't know it's a it's a two piece button it's got a design on the front of it see if I can zoom in a little bit better I really don't I don't know, I'm gonna have to get it home cleaned up. But it does look like it's got a head on it and some writing around the top of it. I don't know if it's overall button or not. Yeah. Anyway, I'll get off here and hopefully I'll be back with something good. Alright, uh, I'm still out here digging it in this field. Uh, of course, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, they uh, cleaned it up. Uh, they scraped the top of the ground. I guess they're going to plant crops in here. They've got a bunch of lime piled up at the other end of the farm up there. So, but uh, I've got a good signal. It is brass. I don't, I don't know what it is. Hadn't got it out of the pod yet, but it's right here. Oh, that's a huh huh I'm thinking that's what I'm looking for I'm thinking it may go to a sling or something it's bent looks period yeah. there's a little buckle kind of neat but anyway I think that's what I'm looking for. I'm on run around this area a little bit more, but anyway. All right, well, I'll get off here and hopefully I'll be back with a bunch more. All right, uh, it's been a little bit since I found that little buckle, and I've come up the hill a little bit and got a good signal. I see a uh, white. I don't know if you can see that for the glare, but it is a uh, maybe a 54 caliber. Musket ball. I don't know if you can see it there. And that's my first bullet for the day. Well, I'm going to get off there and keep digging it. Alright, uh, let's dug at me at musket ball right over there. I've got a, I've got silver. <clears throat> I don't... I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's a real. I can see R E. Let's see if we can get it out together. Looks like maybe it's a one real. I can see the one R. I hope you can see that real clear. I can't hardly see on the screen. I can't because of the glare.
Let me turn around. Get out of the sun. Been up a little bit. But anyway, I don't know if you can see that or not. It is a... Oh, but that little bend in it is it. It's in pretty good shape. That's a good find. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe you can see it there. I can't see it on a viewfinder. But, uh, let me come back to the ground. And get a year off of it. Seventeen seventy seven. Yep. Dang, it's a good find. Real good find. Man. Looks like I've got a good little spot here. One guy owns this whole farm and <clears throat> I've got permission and uh, the farms I uh, ride at 200 acres and uh, of course I've talked to him a few times took him uh, showed him some stuff I found on his other farms and he uh he said to make sure that I was only one metal detecting and I said yes sir so this is the first time I've hit this farm of course I just moved uh, right over the hill. So, all right, well, I'm gonna get off here and <clears throat> see what else I can find. See if I can zoom in on that. No, it ain't gonna let me zoom. I don't know. That's sun. But anyway, I'm gonna get off here and hopefully I'll be back with some more. All right, uh, I made it to the shade. Uh, it's getting hot out there in the sun, but uh, uh, I was going to show you a little bit about the farm. Of course, I don't even see way over there in the, through them trees. Of course, that's the property line way over there. Of course, it comes down on the other side of them woods. And then, of course, that wood line right there is the uh, property line. It goes all the way to uh, uh, road, uh, Highway 25. Um going into Castain Springs. It goes all the way up past that barn. It's probably, from that barn to the road, it's probably, I want to say 500 yards, maybe six or 700 yards. I'm really not for sure, but anyway. Um, the guy that he done to those your work, cleaning up the fence rolls and stuff, and he did cover a lot of stuff up. I've been digging grass, probably. 10 inches deep where they've turned it over so but he did he just been using a dozer he hadn't plowed it or anything so but right in here i believe is a old home site and i'm getting a lot of square nails of course you can tell right there how far that drops down and then right in here i've been finding a lot of square nails come from this area of course, right in there is where I found that uh, button at. And then I found an axe head. And it was broken up. Uh, my property line is right off in the edge of the woods there. I was going to get in them woods, but it's pretty thick. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till winter to get in there. So. Anyway, that's a little bit about the farm. I don't know any history of it. I don't know of any... Uh, home sites really i'm not for sure if this was a home site but i'm digging some square nails but anyway i've got plenty of time to hit it and of course i don't know what they're going to sow in it first i don't know if they're going to they may put corn in it i'd say to begin with but anyway i'll get off here and i'm gonna detect a little bit more and head to the house
All right, uh, I'm back with today's finds. Of course, I wasn't out probably three hours, and uh, of course, I was right over the hill there. That's my front yard. But uh, you can see through the wood line, you can see the uh, light through the woods there. Over in there is where I was at. So, uh, but anyway, I had a pretty good three hours. Uh, <clears throat> ended up with this, uh, I uh, think it's a, maybe a, 50 caliber uh maybe i don't know if it's civil war period i think it uh, more or less uh pioneer days uh early 1800s mid to late 1700s so uh of course found this buckle i'm really not for sure what it uh goes to like I said, I don't know if it's Civil War period. I, th I think I've seen one like that in my book. I'm going to have to get it out and look at it again. Of course, it is about like a horseshoe. Uh, found this button. It's uh, O'Brien Brothers. Of course, uh, it was O'Brien Brothers. That's uh, the ones that uh, uh, Duckhead started from, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I'd read that somewhere. But, uh, anyway, that's a pretty good button. Of course, Shank's missing. You can tell it's got the duck head on it. And, uh, of course, fine for today is, uh, it's, uh, one real. 1777. Carlos the Third. I don't know where it was minted. Let's see. Spaniard. I think it was minted in Mexico City. That little piece of dirt's right over the end. Yep, you can see that uh that little limb. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. No. Spaniard. 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 Sorry about that, folks. All right. You see that uh, little uh, M with the O over it right before the 1R? That's uh, That tells you it was minted in Mexico City. And then that 1R says uh, that's 1RL. And that F and M is the uh, guys that uh, uh, minted the coin. So, But, yeah, that's a, that's a good find. That was a find for today. It's in decent shape. I mean, you can read everything on it. It's just, you can see it's bent. But, uh, this is uh, the trash for today. And that one spot I was telling you, I think at old home site. Of course, I was digging all these square nails. Got this piece. I really don't know what it is. It may be a cast iron or something. I don't know. But anyway, that was, uh, oh, I found this piece. If anybody knows what it is. It's about five, six inches long and uh, kind of odd looking. I don't know if it's a piece of old combine. I don't know if it that's what gathered the grain up and the grain fell through the holes there. But if anybody knows, just please leave a comment and let me know what it is. So. All right, well, that was uh, today's finds and... Uh, Thanks for watching and happy hunting.